Welcome back everyone here to our trading talks session on a Tuesday as uh, always in uh, English language here. Uh, topic as well for the day uh, after I'll uh, show you the risk warning will be the trend lines and then of course as well support and resistance levels and how to identify them and use them uh, to get uh, fruitful trades in the markets and potential uh, chances to find a great uh, trading setups here for us. So moving uh, beyond that as well, uh, topic is set, uh, trend lines uh, and uh, first of all of course how do we define trend lines in the charts how we find them can uh, create them uh, using some lines and such uh, which i will uh, identify with you guys as well and then obviously how identify a valid support and uh, resistance levels such levels where the markets quite often turn around or continue to get strength or weakness and as well then obviously how to use uh, candlesticks to confirm certain moves uh, to confirm certain moves uh, which uh, can be used to trade the markets accordingly as always uh, if you have any questions obviously please uh, ask them uh, and uh, i'll try to uh, find answers for you as always so how do we define trend lines in the charts there are several answers obviously to this uh, question because the markets are uh, as we all are different as well different moods, different market movements, different behavior uh, day in, day out. And uh, those lead to obviously to a to a different uh, levels which we uh, which we uh, think um, we could use and in this case as well uh, which we uh, potentially could uh, use for us here to find potential moves um, in the markets let's uh, have a look at uh, what we have here right now um, in uh, terms of our actual currency trades which we can use uh, to find trading setups and uh, this is definitely here uh, currently the euro dollar the market has uh, traded so far let me remove these uh, has traded uh, a bit higher the market uh, was uh, in recent weeks moving to the upside potentially you could uh, argue uh, uh, this were rather weakness in the uh, us dollar and also on the other hand potentially strength in the euro uh, sometimes it's not so easy to identify which of the currency is the one which is leading the recent moves or which one is confirming the recent moves on the other hand what you can also say is that if you do a, like a cross analysis between different currency pairs you can quite often find uh, valid reasons which currency is moving more than the other quite now uh, right now also similarly uh, kind of if we are looking at the japanese yen pairs where we can see where the markets are heading to by cross analyzing uh, several yen pairs uh, against each other and then finding potential reasoning uh, behind it so right now the euro dollar uh, has been trending higher and uh, this really was confirmed in recent days as well if you're looking at the daily chart you can't see anything much so also the charting horizon the time horizon is obviously leading you differently to different uh, different market moves and potential setups as well if you're looking at the one hour chart you can find that there's big movements to the downside here if you're looking at the four hour chart you can see as well that there's something going on and if you would like to um, go and write um, and mark a trend line you can simply just use this uh, the line tool here either the the vertical or the the flexible uh, trends here or the uh, the horizontal lines or vertical lines as well so by using these um, you just click on the chart and um, mark your your area accordingly this is uh, happening in a magnetic pattern right so if the market finds a, a candlestick it's usually uh, doing it um, so and kind of combining the the body of the candle or the wick the outer wick of the candle in a magnetic move so this helps you to uh, to find reasoning in between and uh, uh, find certain areas in between which is uh, something uh, interesting here for us and there's no difference technically to me at least uh, of using the upper wick means the the maximum point in at one candle or in using the body which is what i do i use the body um, which is in this case right you come from this candle the next candle is going to be printed and usually it's like the opening or the closing uh, point in the markets i always com uh, compare this uh, with the weekend trading if you're going to the to the market uh, in this case maybe also the money changer the currency exchange market here say on a friday afternoon the money changer will give you obviously the closing price most likely uh, for a uh, currency here it'll you will not likely give you the friday maximum co uh, price there but we'll kind of offer you a price which is which is the uh, opening obviously or rather in this case weekend trading the closing price hence i also apply uh, the market for the for the closing price which is the one which obviously has validity it's uh, something you can compare also with the london fixing if you're talking about precious metals where a fixed price will be set from from major banks together to find price agreements uh, for for uh, for precious metals and in this case also for a trend line i use uh, i use i don't use the max max price but uh, i use uh, i use uh, 
um, a line chart here, uh, uh, kind of uh, with them. Uh, with the closing or the opening price so accordingly. So, and this one would confirm that the market has broken slightly higher than fell lower, broken just shy of this resistance le level as well, uh, back to lower areas. Similarly here in the recent moves yesterday, and uh, that's kind of interesting as well. This is the hourly chart. These vertical lines confirm the different sessions. You can kind of apply them by right-clicking uh, properties and then on the common window, you can say that you would have to these like to have these period separators. It's kind of a good for you to have, as you can see, the difference um, the difference between the trading sessions here. They all have a bit of a meaning as well. So what moved slightly lower during Asian trading, then uh, European trading kicked in. The market was uh, really moving to the upside, and then when. Uh, when the US session started uh, performing here, the market kind of changed the direction. Quite often trends which you can expect as well. Something here as well, uh, Asian trading higher, beginning of European trading, the market really completely sold off and then corrected a bit higher during the US session. So quite often an interesting area as well of, of your choice might be where was the Asian session heading to? In this case, uh, Euro uh, here this morning trading slightly higher. Then Europe kicked in the market initially, fell a bit, and then subsequently got a bit, a bit of a hit to the upside. Nothing really serious. So something you can see sometimes where I would say it's a bit of a market noise here. Something you can potentially trade if you're a short-term trader. Something for me is rather a long-term trader, which is just confirming the trend. But it's very important to have this in mind, as if the market uh, trades higher during uh, Asian trading, the likelihood of the market to be trading lower during uh, European trading is pretty much there. And uh, this obviously would uh, confirm a certain trend. So back to the topic, uh, we have our line chart or the, the line resistance area here in place. You could also say, okay, you would drive something here on the lower end uh, as in a support area. If you can use these and uh, put it parallel, sometimes you also find that there is a, a parallel lines which are offering you some insights here as well, support here. So the market, technically, if you can identify a resistance area, you can simply sell. If you support or if you find a support area, you can simply either get off this position or maybe buy, sell again, buy again, sell again, buy again. That's something, of course, which uh, which works at times. But um, uh, most of the times, you only understand that these trend lines will work out if you uh, um, if you find them afterwards in the charts to uh, understand and trade them accordingly before uh, before they are performing. This is the great uh, idea, obviously, though what we have done uh, last week as well, we kind of identified this resistance area. And I said, if the market is going to break this uh, 119.20 region to the downside, then we could see further pressure here. And we had two targets, both targets being triggered in a short period of time. 118.80 was the first one, which what was hit. And then 118.40 one, uh, was the second one, all within a day. So we had a small, small, uh, we had a small, um, uh, small stop loss, and we had two big targets, which were, which were, which were achieved in a short matter, a uh, short period of time. So meaning in this case here, we sold here when, where a support trend was broken. That was my analysis pretty much. And I was driving it this way here, a bit of wicks, the wicks, the, the long uh, candlestick patterns here, which are sticking out, which really confirm, right? You would like them to stick through such trend line to confirm a bullish trend. And in this case, the market was trending higher here Then the market kind of went closer to the support area. And I felt, look, we had made a huge wave to the upside here in the recent couple of uh, trading days as well. We are technically trading or were in a bit of a sideways pattern. And right when this uh, resistance area broke the supportive trend, then we went into the market here. We sold the market and uh, accordingly felt that, uh, uh, felt that there was uh, some reason behind it. Similarly to right now, honestly, as well. The longer a trend line is holding in place, the more it has a bit of a say as well, which confirms that, uh, say, a trend line of the five minute or 15 minute chart has a bit of a reasoning behind it. You could argue that this trend line could be something which you might, uh, might trade accordingly. I don't know if this really works makes not much sense here but you could say okay support resistance and so on you know uh, there were lots of uh, lots of market moves beyond this um, or extending this area but if you're looking at it obviously from a longer period uh, or market uh, market history then you will find that definitely those ones have a bigger say for our chart is giving you some sort of a 
some sort of resistance and support here. The daily chart uh, is not really giving you anything here right now. The weekly chart also not quite, but if you're looking at the monthly chart and zooming out a bit, you could potentially argue, well, the euro has been in a steady a downtrend for, a, for an extended period of time. So the resistance area kind of being tested here several times right now is performing maybe as support as well. You could say, okay, we've broken beyond that. So the time could show us that the market kind of retraces this area, which is what I would see there's also quite a few others in the markets which say oh look the us dollar will fight back the us dollar which which will go uh, and uh, gray again some sort of momentum so the market will totally collapse again and uh, re the resistance area here will be broken to back towards this uh, this old area i'm not really sure about this you could also argue as well that right now and that would be rather maybe my argument as well that the euro dollar currency pair would break higher but with a bit of a retest here towards this lower area which is why i'm trading the market accordingly it's a bit against the trend you might argue but this long-term trend likely has a bit of a say first of all if not um, has if, if it doesn't have a bit of a say here it at least will act uh, uh, for a short period of time as a resistance area and that's exactly what we trade accordingly we see a bullish uh, bullish pattern here something exactly similar to what the uh, what we've seen here in the charts right what we've seen here in this area market broke higher looks quite bullish and right in this trend line here the price pattern really showed and confirmed a bit of a bearish bias that's uh, that's the same what we can see here right now as well in any case if the market goes much lower here of course we might even be lucky enough if the trade works out to stay in for for a bit uh, longer but on the other hand we could also say okay on the weekly it looks at least that we have these pin bars and this is something which we can see here, right? So this, uh, this longer wick higher and the market trending lower, which by the way, gets confirmation cross currency analysis, as I said earlier on. Let's have a look on the weekly in the uh, pound US dollar, similar candlestick, quite powerful uh, tool, by the way, quite powerful tool, which quite often uh, gives you some interesting insights on certain levels. We have the same also on, uh, on the Australian dollar, also here slightly smaller but also giving you something interesting here as well where the market kind of uh, really breaks this support area broke uh, broke a bit lower already which confirms that uh, um, across different uh, currency pairs here the us dollar is potentially offering us uh, some sort of momentum and that's exactly what i see here right now in the long-term trend line so a uh, slightly bullish you mentioned weekly charts slightly bullish monday tuesday and then maybe tuesday wednesday thursday the market could fall further based on first of all the long-term trend and there's no right or wrong as i said earlier on to uh, to kind of uh, mark a trend line here if you use it like this or if you kind of uh, always uh, come uh, kind of combine only the wicks that everything works out here for me i found that uh, that uh, I, I i rather i have these extreme values being uh, being pushed through this these candles and uh, rather say okay they confirm that the trend is important which makes it so difficult sometimes where you say okay you want to buy the market when the trend line is broken higher like here right now whereas on the other hand you could also argue the trend line wasn't really broken yes it was spiked the market spiked through but it just confirmed that this zone is kind of important and now it could give us a further a bearish momentum here exactly what i would see here right now as well now this candle looks actually kind of bullish that's what we could say on the hourly chart here so i might be wrong the market might really regain some momentum higher on the other hand if we are looking at it from the four hour chart we did not get a closing price above this trend line which would be the confirmation that the market move to the uh, to the downward facing area uh, would be there we can look now a lot for different trend lines in the chart and we'll do that um, uh, thereafter after i've uh, i've given you some more of a feedback here regarding the other important levels here which confirm trend lines and support and resistance areas the support and resistance levels are kind of uh, pretty much easy to spot in a way you can do that uh, on different uh, on the, with it with a different uh, idea here i use in the markets here uh, i use these uh, this automatic indicator which confirms this weekly resistance and weekly pivot and weekly support area so the next uh, nearby areas or levels 
of interest for us, which would say, okay, if the market finds support, we can see subsequently if it's an important level, as the indicator gives us these support areas, we can see something similar, the next level here. So if the market starts falling, we should pay attention to these levels as they, on a weekly basis, will potentially give us some support. So the market, the likelihood of the market is changing direction to the upside again after hitting such support level is pretty much there. The same for the second support area. Now, we wouldn't potentially expect unless there were like huge news that the market really falls that quickly, that fast, but uh, your trading markets where everything can happen, that's always important to, to keep uh, in your mind that uh, you should play uh, with stop losses and you should play with take profit levels, uh, rather the stop losses potentially uh, to protect your account from further losses that the market trades in this uh, vicinity here right now and the expectation that the market for the day could go maybe as high as these extreme levels here or as low as those uh, support levels here is pretty much there. But there are these uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.5% of uh, uh, trading days where you could see that the markets really kind of give you extreme values and they really could take out one resistance after the other or one support after the other. So you shouldn't think of, uh, of this as being not a big issue, but you should think of these uh, little daily uh, days in trading where the markets don't give you what you expect, but in the other hand, on the other hand, uh, they really give you an extreme uh, positioning here, which might uh, not really help your account instead uh, harm you. Uh, accordingly. So that's those levels which are of importance here. But you can also find them yourself pretty easy if you put the charts into a line chart mode and uh, and uh, really see where you have lots of touches in the in markets, right? So there's some touches here, resistance here, then subsequently support there. There are some areas uh, where we are trading at right now, resistance, support. There are some areas here on top of these, right? So, and some of them really coincide with these recent resistance areas. Uh, some of them are on the lower edge here, resistance, resistance, resistance. And the more the market really kind of, uh, 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 respects those levels you see this magic magic again back uh, back there support and if you're going to the candlestick chart you can see that the markets quite often spike through and then subsequently kind of uh, uh, trade accordingly to these positions this is simply the case because uh, people like you and me are keeping an eye on the charts you're looking for entries you're looking for exit prices here and those levels are being respected most of the times here uh, uh, most of the time here as the markets have a memory we say and to would kind of uh, confirm these moves if you look at it from this perspective, support, support, support. If you're putting it to the line chart, you can see the same. The market has really traded accordingly several times to those levels. Hence, it's uh, pretty easy to adapt it to the current situation and kind of uh, find reasoning behind it. And if you're then using the next powerful tool here, identifying support and resistance levels. Again, let me go over a few currency pairs subsequently. We can use uh, candlesticks to confirm a certain move where you say, okay, the market really is pretty much now talking of the euro dollar uh, trading to the side, right? It's the sideways uh, price action pattern. We had a bit of a breakout higher here. The market subsequently fell back into this uh, sideways box here. We are trading at uh, above the support area here. But uh, in the last couple of trading days, say last week here, daily chart last week, the market fell a bit. Then Monday, yesterday, the market regained some momentum. Quite often the case for a for a Monday during a weekly trading, whatever goes up on Monday goes down rather on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And that's potentially still at least uh, the case here. Uh, today we started trading slightly higher here, but now uh, we are already falling, uh, seeing some momentum to the downside here. And that's uh, also based on the weekly chart. The weekly chart really last week went quite high the selling pressure came in, the market subsequently fell lower. And what goes up in one time frame and goes down in the same time frame, in this case, the week. So last week going up and then subsequently closing down here was confirming or is confirming that the market might change direction and falling further. And in this case, we could expect potentially that uh, even this uh, short term trend line could help uh, could help uh, help us to confirm a bearish uh, market movement if the market trends higher well we have the next resistance area we can still see that such move uh, would occur obviously if you trade the markets from a bit of a, a longer term perspective like the daily chart you would maybe say okay you would wait for the markets to give you and uh, to trigger your um, to trigger your order because based on the based on the uh, on the uh, um, 
on the daily chart, you would say that you sell the market below support area. That would be our blue line in the sand here. That would be our, our support area here. So that's where I would say, okay, if the market really uh, kind of confirms this bearish move here, you would say, this is just the retracement higher. Subsequently, if the market starts falling, beyond or extends beyond the support area and would trade lower you would say that this makes sense for you to kind of stay in and 11770 or 11780 would be your line in the sand where you would sell the market in order to to expect falling prices here and these falling prices obviously would uh, would guide you towards uh, towards uh, towards the down the downside uh, area here. So in this case, euro dollar looking actually rather good and confirming the trend line moves and confirming the candlestick patterns. This is also a continuation pattern, this bearish pin bar uh, where the market has a small body lower here and uh, a small body here, long wick to the upside. Uh, it could offer you know, some further downside pressure plus the weekly chart, bullish first, bearish then. Could also confirm this week, first Monday, Tuesday, half day trading so far slightly higher, maybe bearish for the remaining trading days. This is just a uh, probabilities we are playing with right so this is nothing is uh, nothing is the same in the charts we have no similar patterns over again and say if the market does this we do that yes that's exactly how we trade but we don't know if the outcome is pretty much there as uh, it's not like being an airplane pilot where you need to be should be right uh, nearly 100 percent of the time here the lower you are right you might uh, might um, act as a, as, a, as a dangerous person and could kind of crash an airplane here whereas for us traders here we only need to be correct say 50 60 or 70 percent of the time uh, to make money in the markets which quite often is the big problem for us as traders as we don't understand really due to our mentality our mindset how the game is being played just because uh, we are trying to be right all of the time here which uh, in trading really that doesn't work um, this way so to confirm now what have we done today we defined trend lines in the charts we found uh, support and resistance areas and use candlesticks to confirm certain moves now let me go over a few trades and uh, a few uh, opportunities here in the markets as we see for example also our pound australian dollar is still in the long position also we can see okay there is a confirmation there's long-term trends to the downside this trend has been broken the market always at resistance really it kind of was sold off not often that the market really touched this resistance area but when it did quite often falling prices occurred and then subsequently this trend line kind of was leading to like this like a flattening of this curve which you can also see here if you're looking at the relative strength indicator it was peaked and it peaked here at this high area and then subsequently really went lower and the market was trading a bit towards sideways pattern where also the indicator flattened out a bit and it, it quickly touched the oversold territory so the market was uh, for a short period of time kind of a, a trading lower and then changing direction and then based on this we changed from falling prices to rising prices and uh, in this attempt obviously here uh, towards rising prices is the market really uh, kind of also uh, gave us reasoning that this trend line was broken a pin bar here that's again this uh, powerful candlestick which we've traded uh, uh, look back to our trade signals or look back to one of our recent webinar sessions on how we uh, traded this market successfully a small body high at the, the upside here longer wick down confirmed that the market to me could change direction and right now we could see that the market really trends higher after this fall comes a sideways price action pattern similarly to what we see here potentially at least right sideways the market doesn't really go anywhere before before really some breakout comes the market retraces again and a new trend was uh, was uh, established here as we can see it which which was kind of uh, bullish and then really steepened again after the market found uh, found its new direction as well so that's quite often something we can see in the charts here and uh, at the moment we see we have the support area the market trended uh, lower than the market kind of flattened a bit here as we can see right sideways and then right now the market started uh, taking over a, a slight bullish trend uh, we could see that this bullish trend either results in some sideways pattern because history repeats itself somehow, but we don't know how fast and how quickly and if even 
the market moves higher. But uh, if we would believe that the market start uh, regaining some momentum, we could simply stay in here and say, okay, these candles don't tell us anything. The market looks for some direction. Maybe we get good news from Great Britain towards uh, Brexit, towards uh, trade agreements, trading talks with the European side. A pound gets uh, some sort of momentum going. And we can see the monthly chart is our kind of line in the sand which could confirm such a move. Yeah, the market has been trading, trending sideways after this big fall. We examined this part here on the monthly chart. We talked about this bullish uptrend and the bearish trend here. Uh, last uh, month here, last month, the market did not fall further. Yes, it fell a bit, subsequently came back, same time frame, one month, once down, once up, confirming a bit of a bullish move rather. And this uh, bullish move rather uh, was uh, in the end then uh, is telling us that the markets, the likelihood of the markets trending higher is pretty much there since especially we are trending we are trading near the last trading days here uh, the last trading week basically of the month of august and this could confirm that the bullish trend really is going to stay this way even if the candle for the for the month towards the month and stays like this this would be something bullish as we would say okay bearish move bullish retrace sideways pattern next month really we could see a breakout coming higher and this breakout is why i'm really confident with this trade based also on price action based on charting patterns and based on simply the moves here similarly to the to the pound as well where we can see now okay the market has been trending higher here pin bar candle the market could fall what else is here in the in the sand here to to be seen do we have anything where we can see some market movement well there's always some trend lines which work afterwards it's easy obviously to drag them in it here but you could see as well okay breakout higher retest break below retest resistance now similar resistance area confirming these two price points at least uh, we can see that there's anything happening and uh, with a bit of reasoning also we could kind of uh, push it to the to the to the um, uh, to the uh, to the line chart here where we see resistance resistance bit of overshoot here support here the market kind of fell uh, fell subsequently but uh, initially there was some support resistance again here same area here so obviously some traders some investors keep an eye on this trend line and hence there was a pin bar through even confirmed by my little indicator pin bar indicator where the market went one week within one week went up subsequently closed the dream Week bearish means as well there was a selling pressure coming back in and this confirms like a bearish movement here which we could see as continuing here which would be obviously that the pound would lose some momentum towards the US dollar and that the US dollar could regain some strength here uh, as well. So this is simply our webinar session uh, today uh, regarding uh, regarding our our uh, trend lines, support and resistance area, how we identify support and the resistance levels and how we use candlestick patterns. There is a uh, countless stuff and I would say just uh, do your own research, just to uh, find some own uh, solutions, find some own uh, trading ideas behind it, just to uh, drive some trend lines, put some trend lines in the charts, uh, confirm certain moves and uh, subsequently more Mostly also, if you're fresh into trading the first half year, I would really encourage everyone to trade on a demo account, uh, find out how the market kind of acts, and then slowly, or say rather, I quickly move to live trading accounts. Simply your mindset is a bit different. You know, if it's a demo account, ah, no money can be lost, but you know, if it's a live account, that really your money will be affected and then find some solutions uh, accordingly as well we can have a look on uh, silver right now silver looks a bit weakening as well why a stronger us dollar as we would expect really pushes down the price of silver we have trend lines here that could be broken it's a bit of a triangle formation here it looks like the market trends lower and hence i would say the small support area here really being pushed we have a high we have a lower high, we have a lower high, we have a lower high, and maybe boom, the price will push lower as well. After this big move higher, we could also expect that the market really subsequently now uh, would uh, weaken a bit further before maybe regaining some uptrend here. Hence, I would say as well, these trend lines make sense. And then, of course, as well, I would say we should trade them accordingly. Yesterday, the market tried to gain and follow up with a bullish mentality, but this was not uh, answered correctly. Again, as the market really kind of, uh, after a spiking higher, really closed negative one time frame, four hours. Within four hours, the market went up, 
came back down and that means itself okay the, pre, the, the the sellers are taking over this is a bearish movement here and this bearish movement is kind of really confirming that uh, more red candles are causing the market to fall rather which would mean for me as well that the bearish move really it could last guys happy trading thanks for tuning in i see no questions from your side here uh, talk to you later take care everyone bye bye